Okay, let's look at question 2.2. So again, we're still with Meke. Um, Meke plans to install a home solar system unit consisting of solar panels, a battery, and an inverter. Okay, so the whole shebang. She sees the advertisement below in a community newspaper showing the two different payment options for the same unit. Okay, so same unit, one is rent to own and one is cash price. So this is where you just pay it up front. Here you're paying in installments, there's an additional ad, uh, initiation fee, and then you still have to pay the 7,820 at the end. So it seems to be quite the amount that you're gonna pay over here, but sometimes you can't afford cash, right? That's just the reality of life. So let's go and see what the questions are here. Use the information above and answer the questions that follow. Write down the monthly instalment for the rent to own. So the monthly instalment is going to be this over here. They're just testing that you know that P slash M means per month. So you're going to, let me just do this. Okay. So we're going to be on 2.2.1 and you're going to say round value 1549 per month. And we're done there. That was pretty easy. They're just checking that we're working with the right amounts. So then it says calculate, excluding that, the cash price of the home solar system unit. Okay. So the home solar system unit was 78,200. And it said that it includes that. So now we want to take that out. So we're going to say 78,200. Remember when we, when we want to increase by that, we times by 1,15. And if we want to decrease by that, we divide, right? So that's where we're increasing for that. And that's where we're taking that out. Okay, that's our simple rule there. So here, we're just going to divide it by 1.15. Please remember, you need to know that that is 15%. So you pop that in. 78200 divided by 1.15. And the answer is, without that, the cash price of the solar system would be 68,000. So that's easy enough, right? Um, so let's now move on to the last question for this video and for the sub question, 2.2.3. We can see it's a couple more marks. It's probably going to be a little bit more working out. After seven years, Mika described, um, decides to buy out the rent to own option. So basically she chose this option and says calculate the extra amount she has to pay so basically say how much more does she have to pay here compared to buying this, the home solar system unit for cash. Okay, so we're comparing the price of this with the price of this, ignoring interest. Okay, now they haven't given us any interest information. Obviously, in reality, amounts of money um, can be invested and they can earn interest, but we're not taking that into account now. So let's just literally say, okay, what's the cost of that compared to the cost of that? And just be careful because we need to say, okay, well, what are we comparing? We're not comparing, we're comparing both of these because they include that. So don't now compare it to the 68,000. We're still comparing it to the 78. Okay, so let's work out option one, how much it's going to cost. 2.2.3. Option uno. Okay, it's going to be 1549. Now, that is for seven years, but that's every month. So we're going to say times seven, but we have to then times that seven by 12, right? Because that's the total number of months. So that's the monthly rate. Then let's add on the additional fees. So the additional fees is 782 for the initiation. And then there's this buyout after the period of 7,820. So we have to add both of those in. 782 and then 782 that. Okay, so that's my total amount that I'm going to pay. Please make sure you understand that this is monthly, right? Because that that's years and that's months. So we're going to say 1549 times by 12 times by 7 to make it monthly. Plus 782, that's my initiation fee. Plus 7820, which is my amount that I have to pay at the end. And my total amount that I'm going to pay there in rands is 138718. We're not done. We have to compare that now to the 78,200. So we say 138,718, subtract off 78,200. That's basically option one minus option two, because the question asked us how much extra would she pay 
for this option compared to that option. So we're just going to pop that now into our calculator. Subtract off. Oh, let me just move it here so that you can see. 78,200. And my answer is 60,518. So basically by opting for option one, she's going to pay 60,518 more rand or rand more than in option two. Okay, but again, as I said, not everyone has cash, um, that amount of cash up front. And so sometimes you do have to take other options just so that you can access things. Okay, let's move on to the last sub question of question two.